Hello and welcome back to another video. Now I am clearly not Sam, I am Matt Saunders and I run a YouTube channel called Matt Saunders MCP. Now Sam was kind enough to send me a product to review. Uh, I recently switched back from Android to the iPhone 5 and the product he sent me is an iPhone 5 case. Now the case he's actually sent me is from SGP and it's the Slim Armor case. So what I'm gonna do is gonna give you a full review of this product. So let's get on with it. So as you can see, the product comes in this hard shell see-through case. And on the front of it, it got some branding and also on the back, we have some information as well. But on the front of it, it actually says here you get jelly bean buttons. Now you get three of these things that you can stick on your home button. So if we just delve into the packaging itself, I'm gonna move the case off to one side, remove the plastic and get to some things inside. Now you do get uh, two things on the inside. One of those things is the jelly bean buttons. Now you get three of them. You get the black, the white, and the orange. And you also get the sort of marketing material inside of the case as well. Now, as you can see, here is the case. And there are quite a few scratches on the back. I have had this a while. So it's obviously doing its job and not scratching my iPhone. Now this is the brushed metal look. Now you can also get on the website different colors, really bold, vibrant blues and yellows and, and reds, which is pretty nice. Now the actual material of this is TPU. This is the main section here, which is pretty flexible. Now if it was just made from TPU, it wouldn't be very rigid and very good. So this is where I have this section here, which is made of polycarbonate. So with the two together, it gives it that rigid feeling. Now to put this back on, you just line it up with the holes and clip it back on. So to put the iPhone 5 into the case, very simple, just line up the buttons first and then just clip it down on the other side and you are good to go. Now looking around on the ports, I'm going to show you those. So if you look here on the bottom, we've got great access for the headphones, the speaker grills and also the lightning connector. So if you look on the side here, you can see we have our volume up and down and our sleep wake. Now the biggest problem I have with this is the sleep wake and I'll show you why. So if you have a look at the switch there to put it on silent, you can actually see it's recessed in there quite a bit. So it is difficult at times to actually flick that on and off. If you haven't got a nail, it is quite difficult. You have to put your finger really in there quite deep uh, to flick that on and off. So just looking at the top of the case, you can see here we have our sleep wake button and then on the side, nothing exciting going on here. It's just a bit of branding. Now the case itself does have a little bit of lay on the table design. So you can be assured that when you put it on the table, you're not gonna scratch the screen. So if you're the type of person who takes quite a few photos with their phone, then the cutout for the camera and the flash is perfectly fine and you won't have any issues. So I'll definitely say this is a very sleek looking case. I love the brushed metal and I like the fact that the branding on it is quite minimal down the side and also the branding on the back as well. So you can pick this up direct from SGP for $25.99. Uh, I just want to thank Sam for allowing me to do this review. As always guys, remember to hit that like button and subscribe to Sam and hopefully I'll see you in the future.